Welcome to Technical Drawing. Today we'll see all the instruments which we use in Technical Drawing. This is Technical Drawing Board. See it is like this. It has two buttons. Size is half imperial. And if you see over here, there is a working edge. Right? See this. On the left hand side, there is a working edge. So this is a drawing board which we required. Size of the board is half imperial. Then we required drawing paper. It is called half imperial drawing sheet. See it will be like this. This is old one but you will get the plain white or off white color. After that we required clips, board clips. See we can fix it like this. It is available in plastic as well as in metal. This is how we use it. See, we put a thumb and this is how it will go. There are four clips in a box. We required minimum two. See this, one up, one down. That is more than enough to hold any paper. If you want to put four, you can put four. I generally prefer two. Now we have T-scale. See this. It is like this. The T-scale will slide on that working edge. See, this is working edge. See, T-scale has to slide on that working edge. There should not be any play, any gap between T-scale and working edge. One more thing, you should not keep it on top also. See, this is also wrong. It should be on this. And it should slide smoothly like this. So whenever you are buying, just make sure that it is sliding smoothly. Now, 0.5 mechanical pencil. See, this is one with the steel nip. See this. I generally prefer with steel nip. With pencil, we can draw horizontal lines. See this. With the help of T scale, I can draw long horizontal line. This is set square. This is another one. This is one is 3060, other is 4545. See this. This is what we have used in our school, like you know, in school compass box very small that is also set square this is also set square now we have right now i have four types one is very small this is small medium and one more large you know that that i don't have right now but we have various type generally i prefer small or you can take medium also for drawing purposes now see this what we can do with this set square, we can draw vertical line. See this. So with T scale, we can draw horizontal line and with set square. And when you're keeping it, make sure that it is it should slide on T scale. It should not go in, inside the T scale like this. It should be sliding on the T scale like this. There should not be any gap. And make sure that when you're using it, you put one thumb on T scale and you rotate your instrument see this this is how you should use your set square so you should get used to this that's how your speed will increase see this now this is with this also we can draw vertical line Now if you see this, this is which angle? 30 degree. Right? This is 30. See this. 30. We can draw 30 degree parallel line with this. This is 90. This is 30. This is 60. So this is called 30, 60 set square. That's why it's called 30, 60 set square. Then we have 
45 degree set square see this with this we can draw 45 degree line 45 see this 90 45 so that's why it is called 45 degree line see with this we can draw n number of 45 degree lines so generally we use these two set square 30 60 and 45 45 and if we use both we can draw many angles let's say this is 75 45 plus 30 so that way you can draw any angle with multiple of 15 to 360 you can draw it with set square see this so that you can do it for practice this is one more 0.5 pen pencil but there is no steel nib in this see this directly lead will come out so generally I don't prefer this I prefer this because it has a steel nib so it is even if I am applying more pressure my lead won't break so that's why we use steel nib this is rounder with pen pencil see this this is pen pencil attached to it this is the metal end we can draw a circle like this same so whichever you like small one big one and this is lead box you'll have lead like this it can be H or 2H or 2H 2HB see this how you can remove it from pencil see when you press it like this lead will come out right if you want to put it inside you press it from behind as well as press it from front see this then it will go inside this is how you put lead inside press it from behind and you can put it from ahead or you can put it from behind also see this so the main idea is you should press it from behind then it will be easier to remove lead or if you want to insert lead same in this also you press it from behind and you can put the lead from front as well as you can put it from behind also this is a shortcut if you want to do it faster you will learn in 2-3 attempts you will learn how to put lead and how to remove it see this same in this also so up till now we have seen board paper clips T scale now we required scale also see generally T scale will have markings but if you don't have a marking you can use scale like this and anyway to use scale will be better because you can take dimension directly because on T scale you have to do maths and this you can do directly see this is how you can use rounder and scale to draw triangle So 0.5 pen pencil, mechanical pen pencil, rounder, lead box, scale, then French curve. We required French curve to draw three points which are not in line. See like this. Generally we use this in engineering curves and section of solids where we will have multiple points which we have to join by freehand. So that time we will use French curve. This is called French curve. So rounder, big one, small one, scale, lead box, set square, clips already there, eraser, we can use this eraser or a normal non-dust eraser that will do and one protractor. So this is what we required, minimum requirement for technical drawing instrument i hope you i hope you people have understood it how to use it thank you